In this video, you'll learn how to set up the prefabs from the Orbis Shader Pack. This video has chapters. Feel free to skip to the parts you're interested in. So first off, download and import the Unity package. I'm just going to drag the Unity package into my project here. Next, go ahead and activate your license key. If you bought it on Gumroad, you're going to need to find it off the downloads page. And if you bought it on Lemon Squeezy, it's also going to be available on the downloads page and also in your email. Now you're going to want to find the prefabs. They can be found in Value Factory, Orbits 1, prefabs. As you can see, there's a bunch of them here. We have two types of prefabs, floaters, which are designed to float around a specific point, and orbits, which are designed to rotate around a specific point. To start placing them on your avatar, what I usually do is go ahead and just start placing them in the scene like this. For example, I want a crown. So I'm going to go ahead and place the crown into my hierarchy here and just start moving them into places where I want to see them on my avatar. So I'm going to move this crown up above here on this avatar's head, scale it, and move it around until I find the look that I want. I'm going to drag out a constellation orbit as well, put it around the hips here. Gonna grab this ring as well. Put it on the feet there. So gonna grab this Z's floater here, put it on the arm. Now, each one of these prefabs has an associated material you can find by clicking on them and looking at the material here. You can go ahead and adjust the various settings here, like color, size of the objects, distance from the center, spacing, etc. For example, maybe I want to change the color of all of these. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and right click on this, select material. It'll ping the material for me. I'm going to go ahead, control D to duplicate this material. It's very important to copy your materials in case you re-import package, in which case re-importing it will overwrite these materials that are the defaults, which so you want to duplicate them. So you have something that won't be overwritten in case you re-import. You can go ahead and change the color into something else entirely here. Of course, you have to drag the material onto the uh, object here. Let's go ahead and set these all to be this, this kind of purplish. Yeah, this kind of bluish color. I like that. So I'm going to set that to that. I'm going to go ahead and copy this color here and set, our, set it up for all of these now. So go ahead, take this, copy it, paste it into both of those. Selecting the objects might be a little bit tricky. So use the hierarchy if you can. And I'm also going to adjust the orbits on this one. I'm going to adjust the distance from center a little bit. Something like that. And you can go ahead and customize the shader however much you want. We have various things like hue shifting, dissolves, matte caps, cutout, and various other things that relate to how these objects are spinning around and moving around. Once you have this general layout, now it's time to actually put them on your avatar and attach them to the bones. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and find the armature of our avatar here and alt click on it to expand the whole thing. And now we're going to go ahead and place all of these individual things onto the bones uh, of the avatar that correspond to the various places that we've kind of laid them out on. So for example, let's start with the crown. We're going to want to put the crown on the head bone. So let's take the crown here and drag it onto the head bone. So we're going to find the head bone here. There we go. Now, if we move the head around, as you can see, it's attached to the head. So we're going to go ahead and do this for every one of these. So for example, for the leg here, uh, we're probably going to be attaching it to the shin. So this goes onto the shin, and now if we move the shin, perfect. The orbits are going to go on the hip, just like that. The Z floater is going to go on the right arm, the forearm here, yep. And this ring here is going to go on one of the tailbones. Let's find a good candidate for it. I think we're going to put it on tail 05. Yeah, that's good. And there we go. Perfect. And now this is ready to upload. If you would like to attach fizz bones to these, you can go ahead and follow our other tutorial on that where we go about these various floater fizz bone and orbit fizz bone container prefabs and uh, explain how to set them up on your avatars so that your prefabs here have a little bit of wiggle and have more life to them. That's about it. Have fun.